Belton, left side, Belton to the near side. Touchdown, Penn State, the Nittany Lions win it. Gridiron meets the books. This is the field where dreams come true. It's unreal. There's nothing like it. I don't think even, you know, no matter how many years I go on to play football elsewhere, there'll be nothing like that. You don't really have to worry about the square root. This is the classroom where success of a different kind is fulfilled. This is John Urschel. Student athletes are often easy to spot on college campuses, but it's not every day that the big man on campus, dressed like everyone else at Penn State, has a commanding presence in the stadium that seats thousands and in the classroom in front of a few. Flashback to 2009, just a few years ago, and John Urschel was a Canisius High School student and signing a commitment to play Big Ten football. And one of the things you told us, you said, I, I picked, picked Penn, Penn State, State because of their great combination of academics and athletics. I think I can uh, excel both on the field and in the classroom. I think I did all right there. I think you did. But how do you do it? What's the formula to make this work for you? A 4.0? Honestly, I don't, uh, I don't really think too much of the 4.0. In keeping with the numbers theme, this 300-plus pound first-team All-Big Ten offensive lineman carries a 4.0 GPA. At age 22, he has a degree in math. By the way, he did it in three years. Add to it a master's in math. Plus, he's now pursuing a second master's in math education. And he's teaching calculus at Penn State. Half of negative X. What you should know is that Urschel takes his teaching assignment just as serious as he takes his position on the field. In fact, when he met with us at 7.30 a.m. before class, he politely asked that we didn't stay too long so as not to distract his students. We, you know, we learn when it's time to focus, we focus, but we have a good time in class. The question he hears often, and yes, he admits he's tired of hearing, is about his ability to tackle so much. How is it that you're able to balance football, teaching, and being a student going for your master's? Perhaps because I'm a student athlete, all of a sudden my ability to teach is being questioned, you know, you have enough time, things of the sort, when I'm as talented a mathematician as anyone else, irrespective of sports. Urschel played for the late Joe Paterno and decided to stay after the scandal rocked the football program. It uh, really taught me something about fighting through adversity. He is now high on the Nittany Lions depth chart as a right guard and has transitioned well under new coach Bill O'Brien, who praised him from the start. This is why you take a job like this. To me, you, you get to be around kids like John Urschel. Coach O'Brien, I think the world of him. He's been such a mentor to me and has really meant a lot to me. John Urschel has made his mark for sure on this field here at Penn State University, playing in front of over 100,000 people, and there's more to come. I have aspirations to play in the league, but it's a, it's a tough league to make it in, but I'm going to give it everything I've got. But back at Penn State, he has already made a mark. Near the campus is a huge mural. The artist says it's a thank you to all who inspired him at Penn State. And he wants to put your face on that mural. This is news to me. In my eyes, he's a hero, you know what I mean? A hero for academics and also for, for drive, you know what I mean, and willpower. What an honor. Yeah, I'm, trust me, I'm honored for everything I get. I'm blessed to be here. And if you're wondering if he has a soft side? For fun? I do math for fun, let's be <laughs> honest. I'm reading math books for fun, I'm doing research for fun, that's my fun. And you I'm playing football for fun. Yeah. I get to practice, I get to hit people. Like, what's more fun? <laughs> He's an only child, proud of family. I don't think I'd be where I am today without my mom. My mom raised me, and she did a fantastic job. And he accepts being a role model for the young people in Buffalo. I tell them to stay focused on their goals. I mean, I know there's always a lot of noise going on, a lot of things going on around you. I would tell them just to really focus on what they truly want out of life. And if they really aspire to be, say, a Division I football player, they need to focus on it. Western New York has a young man of precision. He's big, he can move, he's super smart. He's number 64, and his name is John Urschel. 
at Penn State, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.